continuing with the remodel of the little Toyota pickup, this old seat, uh, bench seat that was in it was pretty tired, uh, so we pulled it out. So found a, a better shape bench seat off of Craigslist, uh, which is intact. It's it's uh, got some stains in it and stuff, but we can put a cover on it. But I wanted to stick with a bench seat. A lot of guys will put bucket seats in in these little trucks, but the beauty of the bench seat is uh, is you can put that third person in here, and they actually fit a, a, a larger guy like myself a, a little more comfortably than the than the bucket seats, which. Uh, don't have as much leg room and, and as much headroom, but uh, the downfall of the bench seat is there isn't a whole lot of storage. There, uh, there's no center console, and, uh, and and that presents a a challenge when you got your coffee mug and and, and extra stuff in it. So we're going to make a uh, center console that that is easily removable, and uh, so you can throw that third person in here if you need to, but uh, can handle most of your daily driving. Uh, needs. So I started out, I just cut a little template out of a piece of plywood uh, just to try to get a basic uh, size and dimension and, and get a feel for it too. So I think we're about right there with uh, with this template and we're, we, we have some room to play in the front for a cup holder but for the basic box size I think this is going to do pretty well. Well, for the box, I took some 2x6 uh, rough cut cedar and ripped it in half widthwise. So we ended up with uh, two pieces about three quarter inches thick after they were playing down because this is two inches thick um, off the mill. So we're down to three quarter, they're playing down. Um, we'll take our template and mark it on on the piece of 2x6 and then we want to put a cup holder on on the front side here so this is a plum cut as as the box is laid in the seat at an angle uh, the cups will sit in here so we're gonna we're gonna need to build the box for the cup holder off the front of it plumb so that the cups will sit in there level and I know that's hard to see on on film, but this will be the edge of the front of the box for the cup holder. Then coming off that plumb cut on the front of the storage box of the center console, we want to square that off for our cup holder so that our cup holder is dead level. And then most cup holders uh, nowadays are about three and a half inches, which seems fairly large, but uh, a lot of coffee mugs and different things are even bigger than that. But that covers most uh, coffee mugs at three and a half inch diameter.
Well, that's about it. It's uh, not the best upholstery job, but it looks pretty good uh, for my needs and it, and it fits my hand really well. And it's gonna be nice to have a water bottle holder. This is a big water bottle, but anyways, uh, on the detail on the phone holder, I just took a phone case and cut it down a bit and then pop riveted it onto our uh, little valve stem holder here. And the phone fits in there pretty good, but pops out real easy. And that just slides right in uh, you know, that, that angled hole so uh, I can be charging the phone and see if somebody's calling. I did end up installing a, uh, a $100 Pioneer uh, Bluetooth stereo. So connecting to it with the USB allows the phone to integrate with it. And it's got uh, you know, a little speaker up top for, uh, for voicemail. So all in all, a nice little addition to the truck. I can put my uh, first aid kit in here and flashlights and pencils and different things. And it gives me somewhere to put my arm.